Hey everyone, Presi Day here, your second favorite Uniswap app. Hopefully everyone is doing pro. So in this video, we're going to be doing the usual market update and uh, go over how the pre-sales have been doing and, uh, you know, the hot upcoming sales, which are always important to find as early as possible, which of course is my main goal, you know, with this channel. Uh, as you know, at the moment in the market, uh, I would say we're kind of going through a launch pad phase, so to speak. Uh, you know, before there was the NFT hype and uh, that kind of uh, died down. And now it's kind of going to the launch pad up where there's so many launch pads just uh, starting up. And I mean, it's insane how many they are popping up out of nowhere. And they're all performing and mooning because people want to hold their tokens to get into the pre-sales. And obviously all it comes down to is, um, well, the launch pad hype just comes down to people wanting pre-sales. And it's a way for them to get in. So, I mean, uh, that means pre-sales are still doing pro. And I must say, more than ever these past few weeks, everything's just been constantly mooning in an insane amount. And it just seems like it's never ending. Hopefully I don't jinx it. But, uh, you know, let's just hope it keeps going on like this. Uh, the market's super bullish. So pre-sales are bullish. So in terms of the project that just recently released, there was uh, Katana which I rated Chospra and that did about 35x and it was one of the few Polka starter projects that actually went up after listing. You know, a lot of the previous ones like uh, Polka Locker just went down and if you bought those when they listed, you got wrecked, so that's not pro. Then uh, some of the BFC pad launches, uh, Octeon, uh, Revamon and uh, where's 8 pay here, those all did really well on launch and then sadly went down a bit. But uh, I think they still have potential. Uh, Totem also did really well, did 50x. Finminity actually uh, started at 10x in a moon because that's going to be a launch pad. So people are firming in. Boson Protocol did about 20x. And um, Genesis Shards did about 20x. Uh, Beyond Finance did about 15x. Uh, although the pre sale only about 5% was unlocked. So you couldn't quite cover your initial, which isn't pro because you know with these sales, and uh, a lot of them don't uh, have a lot of continuity. I mean, they can die off. And then Rocket Vault did 15x. And this is one I uh, you know, helped my community uh, be part of, which I'm really happy about. And that one was launched with Ethereum anti-bot uh, system. And that actually was so smooth. If you look at their chart, it's not like the usual charts where it lists, uh, you know, bots buy it and lists and everyone gets wrecked. But if you bought Rocket Vault at any point during the listing, you would be in profit now. And uh, I think that's really cool. And I think Ethereum are a bit underrated. I mean, that's such a cool mechanic they have to benefit the community and protect people. So I think uh, you should definitely keep an eye on the Ethereum upcoming launches. Then in terms of projects uh, coming up, uh, you know, just announced Polka Starter, which is pro. Sigma Dex, I think is building up a lot of hype. Alpha on paid network. Uh, crypto prophecies, their telegram is still <laughs> blowing up. Shield Finance is coming up, which is pro. Mogul Souls, I'm very curious to see how that's going to play out. And uh, you know, many others that are uh, pro. Now it comes to the upcoming projects. And I've added so many here because there's just so many projects popping up out of nowhere. And obviously you have to be careful. You don't want to just invest in every single one you get the chance to. Uh, but at the same time, it's hard to invest. So once you get a chance to, you might be tempted and it might be a cuck one and you don't want to get wrecked. So, Ternoa is going to be a, quite a good one, in my opinion. Then there's Covalent, which obviously is coming up on Coinless. But you have to be careful with that one because the price on Coinless is something like 60x the uh, seed uh, price. Which I'm curious to see the seed uh, lock because otherwise that's quite unfair. And, you know, Coinless has a bit of a reputation of... Uh, tricking you know the investors you know with a rally uh, like the price pump they had the sale on coin list and then to hype people up and then i mean it was already trading uh, so that wasn't pro citadel one pollen defund cyto uh, that's actually on polka starter must add that and that's coming up in about a week then the cal vpn is going to be on bsc pad uh, melali is going to be a pro one on a2dow polka domain is building up insane hype and that one, uh, they're doing some sort of referral system and their Telegram just blew up. So that was quite smart from them. Standard Protocol just recently announced a uh, sale on Polka Starter, which will be on the 27th of April. I think this is a very promising project. I'll definitely be making a video on them. Spherium's coming up. That is uh, quite a pro project. Soul Starter, 
uh, not the launch pad hype. I mean, they're claiming to be the first launch pad on Solana, although there seems to be quite a bit of competition and it's not 100% sure if they're going to be the first one, but they're trying to. And even if they're not the first, I still think it's going to have uh, hype. Now's Finance is one definitely to keep an eye on. So is Crypto Puzzles. I think this one might be on Duckstarter, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Then Covalent, actually, I've got that on my list twice here. So that needs to be removed. Refinable also announced Polkasada. I posted the whitelist in my announcements channel. So make sure to take part in that. Then uh, in terms of some BSC pad projects, uh, Stack OS is coming up. BSC Station, I think, is really the top one in my opinion that's coming up on bsc pad so that's one to definitely try get into because uh, uh i will do a video on this one but if you look at their backers just by looking at that you know it's going to be a pro one i bet you is a theorem uh, incubator project and like i said earlier um, i've been really impressed with theorem's uh, anti-bot mechanic and the way they advise projects i think they really do it in the best interest of the community so that's why I put this here as well. I'll probably be making a video on that. Uh, well, I will definitely uh, soon. Then Merchant Market is another upcoming project that's uh, quite interesting. NFT, you know, obviously NFT hype is still kind of there, but not as much as it was, but it's got potential. Don Key, which is a, uh, doesn't get the best name award for the year, but I uh, saw the investors and for sure that's going to be a good one. I mean, uh, I'm even guessing it could be on Polka started just because of the investors that I've seen, but we'll see about that. LOC game, that's going to be a pro one on Darmaker. Definitely keep an eye on that one. Um, I'm definitely making a video on that soon. XDeFi Wallet, that's going to be huge. I'm just starting you now. Uh, that uh, I'll be making a dedicated video for sure. It's a competitor to MetaMask and it's, they look very impressive. Omni Consumer Protocols, they're having BSC pad sale on 25th of April. And then trade stars i'm telling you now also keep an eye out on that one i think big things are coming for trade stars um so yeah i think that kind of wraps up my video in terms of all the past projects how they performed uh upcoming projects i'm excited about and you know the hot pre-sales to really try uh get in um personally i'm bullish on most of these and i'll be making a video on most of these you know, there's a lot of things to cover. I'm trying my best to make as many videos as I can, but there's only so much I can do, obviously. And uh, yeah, uh, if you've been following my Telegram channel, you see that I'm going to have an AMA on uh, the 19th of April with uh, Unor, where I'm giving away three Polka Starter whitelists. So make sure to be part of that. And then also doing some allocation giveaways uh, for the community. I really want to start doing a lot of those going forward and you have to make sure to be part of the channels you know to keep up to date with those uh you know it's really my goal to do as much as possible you know to give to the community and give profits to everyone so that'll be pro and uh yeah that wraps up my video if you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys learned something from it and as usual leave a like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate that uh, follow my telegram and join my uh twitter and uh, i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching